hi guys welcome back again to dami dimensions channel my name is dami i hope you're all doing well and keeping safe in the spirit of the season i'm going to be showing you how to make a santa hat and i'm going to be making use of this sort of like a fleece fabric of course in red and uh we basically need a little piece about half a yard basically so what i'm doing now is to just open up my fabric like this and lay it flat on the table we are not folding or anything but if you want to cut the two pieces front and back at the same time then you can fold it into two but i'm just keeping it uh i'm cutting one piece at a time for now we need just two measurements for this you need your head circumference and how tall you want the um hat to be so you're going to be placing your head circumference along this edge and you're going to be placing the hat height along this edge so my head circumference is 22 inches i'm going to be dividing that by two to give me 11 inches all right so i'm going to be placing my 11 inch inches along this edge and i'm adding one inch to that for seam allowance that's half inch on both sides so in total i have 12 inches i'm going to mark that out so basically your head circumference divided by two you add uh, one inch to that and that's what we have so next i'm going to be placing my hat height how tall you want your hat to be for me i'm using 25 inches and i'm just placing it along this part like so and as you can see i place my tape measure in a way that is kind of at the middle of my fabric i'm not marking at the edge because i need that point to be at the middle later so i'm going to be uh i need to draw like a triangular shape now that connects this way but in order to actually make the triangle fall at the middle i'm going to be taking half of this place and placing it right here so then i had uh 12 inches right so i'm going to be taking six inches like this just to give me the exact apex of the triangular shape so now i'm connecting this point to this edge and this point to this edge very very simple you guys so after marking that out i'm going to go ahead and cut it out using my pinky share so i cut that out with my pinky scissors and i'm placing it on the leftover fabric so i can cut the same exact piece out as my back panel so now i have two pieces uh two triangular pieces which is the front and the back i'm placing that right side facing each other now and i'm pinning it all along this edge like so and then i'll take it to my sewing machine and join by half of an inch all right so after joining that this is what i have then i'm going to go ahead and trim off all excesses just to make it look clean inside because i'm not going to be overlooking you can overlook if you want anyways so next thing i'm going to be folding this edge just once and i'm going to be stitching it down the reason i'm folding once is because my fabric doesn't fray if your fabric frays then you can fold twice for me i'm folding just once and this is just to kind of create like a strong like a band effect along the perimeter of the head so that's the reason why i'm doing that and after folding that i pinned it and i'm going to go ahead and stitch it on my sewing machine all the way around and once that is done this is what i have and um, you can see it looks so clean both inside and outside that's what you want to achieve this is not a serious project though but of course you still want it to look clean so next i'm just turning it inside out and then i'm using my scissors to you know make this place come out really well and pointy you can also use a tool like this to kind of bring it inside out which is what i actually did eventually but if you don't have this kind of tool just use the edge of your scissors or something sharp to just bring, bring it out it's that simple so once that is done this is what i have and to the interesting part of it i'm using this fluffy feather uh white feather as the fluffy part of the hat basically you don't have to use a feather like this you can use a full fabric you can use the same kind of fabric as a red but in white 
just play around with it you can do pretty much what you want i just want this to come out fluffy that's why i'm using this and basically that's what i have at home so then you just need to measure around this hat to make sure the fluffy feather goes around the hat so that's what i'm doing just to measure out how much of this uh, feather i need then i'm going to go ahead and cut it out after measuring it around so i have the length that i need now so when i cut it out then there is this particular thread inside it that is making the feather uh, unravel so i'm just going to knot that um rope that's just the rope that was used to produce the feather basically it's it goes all through the line i don't know if you understand what i mean but this rope goes straight inside the feather and it's like it's attached along that rope so i just tied it back so that it stops unraveling at this end i don't have to do much all right so now i'm going to go ahead and trim off the feather a little bit just because it's too you know i don't want it to look all feathery you know <laughs> if there's any word like that anyways so now i'm done um trimming it off and then i just shake it shake it shake it so that it stops uh fraying or you know yeah <laughs> you get the gist okay so now i'm going to attach it to my hat and i'm using um my needle and thread I'm attaching it by hand obviously because i can't stitch this on my sewing machine and i'm starting from the middle and i'm going to be working my way all around it so whichever way you know how to use your needle and thread just go ahead and do it and i'm just hemming at that thread that runs across this feather because that's uh, that's the main thing that i can use my needle to to hold on to to secure this to my hat so that's what i'm doing i'm just going to go ahead and keep doing that all the way around until i'm done stitching the hat uh i mean until i'm done stitching the feather onto the hat so if you're using your fabric you can uh stitch that onto it uh, using your sewing machine obviously but because i'm using the feather that's why i hand stitch so this is what it looks like and the next thing to do now is to attach the pom-pom is like the final thing actually so you can use the same i can use the same uh material as the pom-pom i'm just i could just cut out the size that i need and attach it by hand as well but i just don't want it to look too you know mm. <laughs> so that's why i'm making use of a yarn and this is how i'm going to be making my pom-pom so i'm just going to be winding it uh winding the yard yarn oh my gosh what's wrong with me i winded the yarn around my arm like this and once i'm done winding all of the yarn around my <laughs> jesus <laughs> so then i have something that looks like this and i'm just going to cut out about six to ten inches so i can use that to tie it together basically so i'm just bringing this out of my hand but first i'm just going to tie this way actually you can just bring it out and place your yarn at the middle and tie yeah just like that but i want it to be extra extra secure that's why i'm passing that thread in between it first and then i tie it before i go ahead and um make the thread go around it just like that so it's just basically like i'm making two knots or three knots whatever just tie it as many times as you want just to make sure that the yarn stays in place by the time you cut and fluff it out okay this was actually very fun for me to make i hope you do uh, make yours as well to enjoy the christmas <laughs> all right so once i was done tying then i went ahead and put in my scissors this week and i'm just going to cut it out so i can have the fluffiest pom-pom ever <laughs> okay so just go ahead and cut it out cut 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 and cut and once you're done cutting it out then you should go ahead and trim it a bit more because right now it doesn't look so cute but by the time you um trim it down then it's going to come out really nice and round so that's what you want to keep on doing until you achieve the result that you desire all right so now that i'm done trimming it's time to attach it to our santa hat 
all right so now i'm bringing back my santa hat and as you can see i'm shaking it and nothing is coming down anymore the feather is no longer falling off so and that's what you want to achieve all right so then i'm just going to attach my pom-pom again using my needle and thread so i'm just just basically the same way i attach the feather i'm attaching the pom-pom all right pom-pom 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 pom 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 <laughs> oh gosh all right so by now i was done i guess no no i wasn't done yet <laughs> so i just stitched it then once i was done i cut off the thread and this is what i have it was so nice and firm even though i attached it by hand but it was still very firm so this is the finished look of this santa hat it's so beautiful and i can see this christmas is going to be awesome already uh, do go ahead and make yours as well and enjoy 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 this christmas you guys try to keep safe and enjoy remember to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel in case you haven't done so already and i hope to see you in my next video you guys bye bye bye